And those freezing temperatures, well, they continue to create dangerous conditions in New Jersey uh, on the roads, especially this morning, which could lead to a lot more accidents like the one that you just saw there. A truck losing control in New Jersey yesterday, mm -hmm. sliding across several lanes of traffic. Look carefully here. You see it right there in the in the right. Look at how wild that you looks. You see it highlighted right there in the middle. Yeah, goodness, it's coming up on it. Um, New Jersey's transportation Commissioner Diane Gutierrez Scassetti joins us now uh, this morning with an update on the conditions across the state. Good morning. Thanks for being with us, Commissioner. Good morning. How are you? We're doing okay. You know, most of the state saw a decent amount of snowfall or a mix of snow and ice. What are the roadways like this morning? Should po folks be very concerned about that black ice? Yes. So a lot of the roads you can see blacktop, but they are slippery. Uh, we've been working through the night to make sure that the morning commute was safe. Uh, but I would go back to what Byron said and, and what Marissa said, which is to take your time, provide extra time for your trip um, if you have somewhere to be. Um, and if you don't have to go out, I would wait a little bit and hopefully as, as temperatures warm up a little bit, the roads will become a little less slick. Uh, but they will stay that way um, you know, through the day. We're going to continue to work probably up until tonight. And we just want, as we say at DOT, we want everybody to get home every night. And yeah. so the best yeah. way to do that is to take your time. Yeah, seriously. And so how many road crews do you have on snow ice removal this morning? Because I, I've got to tell you firsthand, I live in Jersey and and that ice was thick on the windshields this morning as well as the, the driveways and sidewalks. So we have all of our crews working across the state. Everybody is out and busy um, and they've been through the night. Um, we have worked, uh, we call it a level three where we have all of our plow teams out there. We have our, our spreaders out there. Uh, and so we're really ready to address anything. And, and it's about 1,500 folks. So th that's our staff. Um, and you see that's a great picture of a plow truck uh -huh. um, where uh -huh. we need plows. Um, we have them on our, uh, fixed to the front of our trucks. We can spread salt um, and we'll continue to, uh, to do that throughout the day on the state highway system. Let's talk about that salt for a second because there was some concern that you guys were running out of salt. There wouldn't be enough. Right, and it's not that, that we're going to run out of salt. Um, we've not had a stream of storms like this in quite some time. And so we you know, usually get a storm, we, we replenish, we get our, everything back to normal. But these storms have been coming really yeah. you know, a day or two apart. And so the port has been very busy addressing not just DOT's needs, but our county and our local needs. And so it's not that there's a salt shortage, it's just demand is high to replenish. The DOT has more than enough salt. We're at 63% capacity right now. You know, by the end of the season, we will have been replenished fully. Um, and, and I don't even want to talk about next winter, but we'll be ready to go. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping uh, it's a less. Also leave salt enough for all the counties and municipalities that need it as well. Right. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to think about next winter either. Goodness but I want to ask you about that salt then, because if you I was reading about uh, Bergen County in particular and the county executive yes. there, Jim Tedesco, who was saying he was trying to go elsewhere, Pennsylvania or upstate New York to try to get salt in. Mm -hmm. So do they know about that you have enough and that it's just going to be delivered them at a later time? Are they just trying to go elsewhere in the in the meantime? So they don't take their supply from the DOT. They take it from the ports but the port I has see. been backed up, so it's been slower. Um, but the good thing is that New Jersey has a very strong relationship with Pennsylvania, New York, and Connecticut, um, and we coordinate very well. So we've all we've all managed our salt well. Um, it is about having some patience. Um, the DOT does not directly supply salt to the counties and municipalities, but for instance, earlier this week, I was on with one of our salt suppliers because we had not uh, Bergen County, but we had another municipality that was very concerned they weren't going to get their order. The salt suppliers have been extraordinarily cooperative and they are really working as hard as they can with extended port hours to fill those those orders. So it's just, again, it's a matter of everybody, you know, hopefully we're going to get a break after today for the next several days. I have to rely on Byron for that information. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, we will be salting, um, we will be replenishing our salt even over the weekend and into next week. And everybody should be should be caught up. Okay, but there, good. there is not a shortage of salt. There is just a high demand to get into that port. Understood. Got it. All right, Commissioner. Thank you for explaining that to us. Uh, there's a lot going on, and there's more weather still to come uh, when we get into the rest of today with some maybe freezing rain. So folks need to be careful out there. We appreciate you joining us today. Absolutely, and thank you, and be safe. Same to you.